Konnichiwa, Tokyo. Hi guys in Tokyo. Today we will talk about quality and behind me you can see the iconic Godzilla that will roar today at noon and we are waiting for that. See you in the next part. Hi again from Japan, from Tokyo. I am here in the Asakusa temple and we will talk about quality, about how quality can help you in your business success. This is one of the things I have learned from the billionaires, their commitment to quality and they care for their customers. And I think Japan is a good example of how you handle quality. I give you some examples from the billionaires and from Japan, from my experiences here in Japan. Quality costs money, right? But quality brings you also customer satisfaction and customer satisfaction is guarantee for your business success. Your main goal in business is to acquire and to keep customers and quality allows you to keep customers and probably to make fans out of your customers. In Japan, for example, if you hold a taxi, they open the door for you automatically. I haven't observed that in any other country, but you see it in Japan. By the way, behind me, you can see the second highest building in the world. It's called the Sky Tree. Good quality means also good customer service. And good customer service means not only fulfilling their expectations, it means not only exceeding their expectations, it means anticipating customer needs. I give you an example. I just bought here at the Asakusa temple a little snack, a sweet, a sweet cake. And I was chewing a gum at that, uh, at that time, at that moment, and the woman who was were selling me that cake anticipated my needs, noticed that I'm chewing something and handed me a napkin in order for me to be able to take that gum and throw it into the wastebasket. So this is what I call anticipating customer needs. And the same happened at the breakfast when I was sitting uh, at the window and the sun was shining in my face or shining on me so the the waiter a helper uh, who collected the the dishes he came up and asked if if he should close the shades or pull down the shades because he he saw I somehow was blended by the sun or I, it was obstructing me somehow so he offered his help so this is what I mean with anticipating customer needs and I want to tell you a story of Manny Stuhl the world entrepreneur of the year 2016 so the best entrepreneur in the world last year Manny Stuhl is a toy manufacturer one of world's top five or top six toy manufacturers and when i visited him last year in melbourne he told me the story that once he manufactured a, a series of articles of toys and they were about to deliver the, these toys to Toys R Us, the largest toy retail chain in the world and also in the States. And they were listed, the shelf space were bo was booked and so on and so on. But Manny Stool wasn't fully satisfied with the quality of the toys they were, uh, they have manufactured they weren't in the state of perfection that satisfied his standards. But Toys R Us, they booked the space and uh, they almost blackmailed them to, to ship. 
because otherwise fines would apply. It would cost them tons of money to pay for not delivering the goods and for the shops standing empty. And it was the first time they were actually listed in Toys R Us. So they run a risk of not being listed anymore. It was a great challenge. It was a great success to be listed on Toys R Us at all. And they were about to ship the first delivery. And many still said, no, we are not shipping because I am not satisfied with the quality of the goods. And Toys R, Toys R Us were saying, no, you have to ship. We don't care, you have to ship. But many still didn't want his customers to get mediocre quality goods, mediocre quality toys. So he refused to ship the toys. And of course, they ran the uh, company run into trouble with Toys R Us. But at the end, Toys R Us rewarded Manistool and his company for what they did because in the entire history of the company manufacturers didn't deliver because they were late or uh, because they couldn't manufacture or they had uh, other logistic problems but nobody refused to deliver because he actually manufactured but wasn't satisfied with the quality of the toys and this gave uh, many stool and his company great credibility not only with Toys R Us but, but also with other manufacturers that then paid off in the future because everybody knew if they get toys from Moose Toys uh, many stools company they they know these toys will have great quality the customer satisfaction will be guaranteed so these are the stories I want to tell you and how you can profit from the superior quality of your products, your service. If you like that video, subscribe here and push the bell button in order not to miss other videos. Also share that video with your friends who are in business, who want to be successful in business. They will thank you for that. And if you like that video, you will also like my other videos. Here you will find some of my best videos. That's it. See you and thank you from Tokyo.